Hey everybody, um, this is a new ceiling fan uh, that I just got yesterday. Um, this is a Moss Heirloom series ceiling fan. It is the HF-100 series, and it was made, um, not quite sure, probably sometime in the 80s. Um, not quite sure about that, but anyways, um, it's... 52 inch size, of course, antique brass finish with these really nice stencil blades. Um, let's get a, up close on those stencil blades. Very nice. They're not scratched. Well, they're, they're a little scratched. Like that one's got some scratches right here. But, well, I guess they are a little scratched in some places. But, um, let's see. There, I don't want to get the light glare. That's a good view right there. So yeah, it's got the stencil blades. Um, it has a genuine moss light kit. At least what I believe is a genuine moss light kit. Um, and it has... The shades are not original. Obviously they're replacements. They're too big for this fan. I don't really like them, but they're all I have. Since all my other shades are packed away. Um, it has a Casablanca style nose, um, or at least nose cap with the screws on the bottom. Um, a very chunky nose as well. It's um, once again similar to Casablanca. Um, now, uh, it does have, uh, this is one of the later ones apparently, the earlier ones. Um, I think the earlier ones would have had a slightly chunkier nose and may have had Casablanca style blade arms. This one has the regular um, generic style crescent blade arms. Um, the motor in this one is a huge, and I mean huge, um, cast iron motor. Um, it's kind of, um, it's, it's shaped kind of like, if you've ever seen my smoke alarm videos, um, and you see the Entronic Vigilante smoke detector, or the Early Guard EGD-5S smoke detector, it's shaped just like one of those smoke detectors. Kind of, um, angled on both sides, and then flat on the bottom, or on the top, I guess, in this case. Um, so yeah, now... The canopy, if I can see if I can get a good view of the canopy, maybe I'll have to stand on the bed. The canopy is not original, obviously. Um, this would have originally come with either a bell canopy or a moss canopy, I'm not sure which. Um, I think, I'm thinking a moss canopy. Um, so, yeah. The, the reason why it has this canopy is because the down rod was cut. It was cut short and a hole was drilled through it. I guess someone had a short ceiling, like like my room. Um, the good thing about that is that it makes it easy to test because my room is the ceiling so low. Um, but yeah, because that the double claw hook on the bracket doesn't have any place to screw the mounting holes on the canopy, which are not on the side; they're on the bottom there. Um, they uh, I had to tape the canopy up actually to the ceiling, and that's what they did. Um, when I got it, it actually there still might be some, yeah right there. There's some tape. They use scotch tape to just tape it up to the ceiling. Thought that was funny. So, but I had to do that because there was no other way to keep it up. Um, yeah, I don't know where this canopy came from. Maybe a Hampton Bay of some kind. Um, air cool. I don't know. Not air cool. I don't. I honestly don't know where this canopy came from because it's mu it's obviously newer than the fan and it's a different finish. Um, so let's see if I can find the label. Um, there it is. So as you can see, well, not really. I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, there's a label. Is it not focusing? It's not focusing. 
Let's see. Come on. Okay, but anyway, it's made in Hong Kong. So, this was imported, obviously. Um, the Both the bottom plate and the top plate have GE vents. The top plate has those round holes towards the center, though. Um, it kind of... Um, it's kind of generic, um, with a few exceptions. Like I said, the chunky nose and the big motor. And of course, if it had a moss canopy or a bell canopy, um, it looks even more generic with that canopy. Anyway, um, the chain extensions, I think this one might be original, I don't know. It's, uh, it used to be some, probably a wood pendant like this one. Uh, probably just like this one, actually, because if this is a genuine moss light kit. Um, but the wood has obviously fallen off. Um, pull chain does still work, though. Also, the reverse switch right over here on the side of the nose is upside down. <laughs> so right now it's in forward. And that's reverse. Now I don't know if that's somebody had it apart or something. I don't know. Um, let's see. I guess I can go ahead and demonstrate it now. So first I'm going to demonstrate the light kit. As you can see. Go in so that it's not overwhelming. Um, I have four bulbs in it. That one's a regular incandescent 60 watt. Those two are halogens. <laughs> And this one's a um, flame-shaped incandescent. So now I'll start it up on high. And it is, I'll let you just hear for yourself. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Yeah. I think just a little bit of wobble. But I mean it's not wobbling. Yeah, just a little bit of wobble, I think. Um and the airflow is just incredible. Honestly, look at the curtains. Oh, sorry about the glare there. It is swaying a little bit. I think that might be because it's in this small room. Okay. Medium. And it does have a rather fast medium for some reason. Try the light dim the light down a bit. Well, that looks nice. Okay. So yeah. Low. And it also has a rather fast low as well. Although on low speed here, I have to say, I can't hear anything. And absolutely no motor noise, absolutely no bearing noise. It's amazing. The bearings in this thing are great. Um, it takes forever to spin down, even without the blades on. And the motor is just so quiet. So that's low speed. Still, uh, blowing a lot of air actually. It's such a fast low speed. Not a really good restaurant low. It's more of a functional low. So now I'll turn it off and stop it. It's hard to stop because that motor is so heavy. Oh, that's another thing. This motor must weigh at least, I think, 30 pounds or so. Almost, it feels almost as heavy as an original. We'll do reverse now. So, low, Just, I'll, I'll, I'll let you see it from over here now. It 
does wobble a little more in reverse for some reason. I did balance it when I put it up. Right now it's kind of just swaying back and forth. So that's low in reverse. It looks to be the same as forward. So medium. That sound was a light bulb. And yeah, it's wobbling. And I'm feeling a lot of air coming off of the ceiling and down onto me. It's making me cold, actually. Okay, high speed. Once again, that was a light bulb. And on in reverse, it has sort of a high-pitched whine. I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds really cool. In high, it's not, not on medium or low for some reason. So yeah. Turn it off and back to forward. And I'm gonna stop the blades and not turn the light kit like that. I don't wanna damage the wires inside of the nose. Okay, now let's try it with the speed control. So I'll turn it off and high. So let's see, let's do high again. I'm guessing it's going to go slower on the speed control. These old fans with the heavy motors usually do. I mean, if this thing weighs about as much as an original, I'm going to say it'll go as fast about as fast as the original did when I tested it in, on the speed control. So, here's medium. This might give it a nice restaurant low, though. That actually is a nice medium speed. I expected it to go slower. I haven't tested it on the speed control yet, and it might still be slowing down, of course, but that's still a nice medium speed, though. That's about as fast as the fan's low speed, or maybe a little faster than the fan's factory low speed. I do like it. It's very quiet. Um, so, here's low. Let's see if it'll give us a nice factory low. I keep stepping on that. Okay. I think I was accidentally pointing the camera too high up. So that is... It's, it's still slowing down, I think. It's swaying a little bit. Um, I think that is... Slow it down. I want to see if it'll go any slower. I guess if you put this on a solid state, it would go slower. Maybe if I move into a, when we move into a new house, uh, if I plan on installing this, I can try it with the solid state that I have. Okay, so that looks like it's the low speed it gives, and it actually is a really nice low. A better low than the factory. Uh, so yeah, shut it off and stop the blades. So, um, anything else that I want to say about this fan? Um, well, I got it off a. Of it was actually a Facebook Marketplace find. It was in Westminster. I had to drive 30 minutes up there to get it. Um, and I think it was worth it. This is a really good fan. Um, I wish I could keep it in my room, but you know, the moving thing again. Um, yeah, so that is the Moss Heirloom HF100 series GE bent ceiling fan. Thank you for watching, and more to come.